There she is, the winner, Indrani Das. Now, how would you go about treating the death of neurons due to brain injury or neurodegenerative disease? Well, a 17-year-old from New Jersey has come up with a potential treatment and has come away the winner of the Regeneron Science Talent Search, the nation's oldest and most prestigious science and math competition. She's also won a quarter of a million dollars for her work. And Indrani Das joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Indrani, and congratulations. Congratulations Thank you. to you. You're Thank only you. 17, a high school senior. What town are you from? What's your school? Oradell. I attend the Bergen County Academies in Hackensack. They must be incredibly proud of you. Tell us about your research. So I work on brain injury, and specifically, I work on repairing the condition surrounding the death of neurons, which is what we consider to be the hallmark of diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, traumatic brain injury. These main signaling cells called neurons die. And my work actually focuses on the cells that are supposed to be supporting the health of the neurons, but actually end up contributing to damage and disease. And so you're looking for a way to make those supporting cells stronger. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And how would we do that, or how would one do that? I actually repair um, healthy neuron to supporting cell signaling in a model I made, uh -huh. and that allowed these supporting cells to quiet down a bit and not contribute to the damage that was occurring. So then could your research then be taken forward? Yes. What's the next step? Have you already been contacted by well, companies? <laughs> um, I do plan to pursue my research in college, and I think the next step forward is still some more studying on other ways that this treatment could apply. Right. All right. Now, so what are your plans? You just said college. Yes. Do you know where you're going yet? Or? I don't. Decisions are still Decisions coming out. are still coming out. I know we just did a segment about how please don't ask high school seniors <laughs> where they're going to college. They don't want to talk to you about it, so we won't do that. But then beyond that, would you like to be a scientist? I would. I'd like to be a physician scientist, actually. You would. Okay. Yes. Do you come from a family of scientists? No, I come from a family of bankers, actually. Interesting. So how old were you when you realized you had this incredible gift and talent for science? Well, to be honest, I don't really think I have an incredible gift or talent for science, but I really have enjoyed it since pretty much the age of three when I started watching National Geographic, uh, reading about dinosaurs. And but you also mentor younger students. Yes. So how you clearly you have enough of an ability and affinity that you enjoy doing that as well, correct? Yes, I love mentoring. I think the whole purpose of science is to reach out to other people, and that makes it such a perfect subject to teach as Now, well. you are apparently also an accomplished musician. <laughs> what instrument do you play? I play the trumpet. Incredible. In the, in the school? In my school's brass ensemble. Your school's. And I've played possibly a lot more in middle school, but in my high school's brass ensemble as well. And what do you like to do to relax? I enjoy skeet shooting. Do um, you? My father took me out for the first time when I was eight, and it's kind of our father-daughter bonding activity. That's so great. They must be so proud of you. Your parents must be so proud of you. My parents are happy, yes. So what would you recommend other schools do to encourage more young women like yourself and girls to get, invite, to get interested and excited about science? I would say the best thing schools can do to help women especially become interested in science is to make examples available. Uh, make examples of women who did achieve in science and of what can be achieved in science regardless of gender. And I think one good way is to open up students' eyes to the fact that online courses exist for all the advanced subjects in the world. We have the internet. So I think that because knowledge and learning and science is unlimited in our day and age, anyone can just reach out and achieve if they have some guidance. Absolutely. Now, we just have to ask you, it is an amazing pot of money, $250,000. What are your plans? I'm hoping it'll help me my, achieve my dream of getting through med school. Oh, absolutely. Great. So you yes. want to college and med school. So you'd like to yes. be a doctor? Yes, I would be. Fantastic. Well, we have no doubt that you're going to accomplish all your goals. Thank you so much. Thank you. For coming in to speak with us today, and congratulations again. Thank you so much.